Template Pro includes two sample templates that you can use as guides to get started with your models and scheduling. If I go to my file option, I select my new models and schedule. If I want to use sample templates, I cancel out of this. You can create a brand new one here. Here's open existing Excel templates. And we give you two actually. You can see they're under our uh, Applied Computer Services uh, Samples folder. Here's Models and Options. And there's Excel templates. And we get two here. One is a group level template. It's actually the easiest way and fastest way to get started if you just want to put in uh, total values for different activities. And you get more detail level template. Let's open up the group level template first here. Give it a couple of seconds and it presents it. So here you have your tasks, and here you have your option percentages, option names. You can see I'm using the options here, different percentages, and, and using the color coding here to identify the uh, options here. Uh, there is no activities defined at all. So here all we're entering is total time for each of the major groupings of activities. So this is 15, this is 8, this is 12, and so forth. Again, using the color codes is appropriate down through here. And over here, we would not be able to use use detail here because there's no detail supplied. It's all summary data relating to the grouping. And here are models. And again, you can go out to 30, right here, out to the right here. Uh, in this format, you're just putting in the major activities that are performed. And globally giving it a total time for each of these activities. And the same with the options and giving a, a total time for the options and the percentages are over here. If you want to do the weighted, the program will do that for you as well here. So you have all of this here and then we just click on send to balance. Define your tag time and it changes the colors. And now we've got a model A and model B here. If you want to add another model here, let's see, we can put in a model C. Here's a Model C, and it's going to apply to certain ones here. I can just uh, use my mouse to highlight the ones it's going to apply to. So let's say I want these three. I can take uh, this one. Uh, so I'm just using the mouse to drag down here and define the characteristics of the study here. Okay, that's our Model C here. So now I've added another model to the mix going down the line here, and I just click on Send to Balance. Again, I define my attack time. And now up here, you can see I've now got model A, B, and C. So I can toggle between each model and see the different ones here. So this is probably the easiest way to get started with the package. It's just give major groupings of activities performed at each station and the total times here. So you could do, even use estimates to get you started at this point here. We also give you a sample of a detail level template. If you go to File, New Models and Schedule, click on the Cancel. Open existing Excel template. Here's a detail level template here. Again, it's in the samples, models, and options Excel templates area. Just open this up here. And now you can see each grouping has detail underneath it in terms of the activities being performed, along with the times over here and the value added flag, whether it's non value added, required non value added, or value added right here. Value added, you can also leave as blank here. So in this case, all of my groupings have detail underneath it. You can see that all the way down here. So I can send that over here, send to balance, give it the tag time, and you can see it changes all of the items to the color coding appropriate. So you can see here's my get part list, collect parts, layout at work area. Those are the three details that you see broken out over here. Get part list, collect parts, layout at work area. That's being reflected right over here. And when you introduce your schedule, it changes it into parts processing, the one grouping right here. And of course, you can also do a combination of the items. So here you can see my parts processing and my setup. These are just grouping level times here I'm putting in here. Here we get details to do with the oven process, prepare mold mixture, insert an oven and activate. Now you can do a combination here. You can see here your time from your ERP system might be 12, but we're seeing a lot of people saying, well, that number is not correct. So you might want to put in some details of what you think it should be here. Now you have to tell it which one you want to use. If you leave this over here blank, use detail, it will use the grouping level entry here. So you can see here my oven process is 12. I don't have the X in here for use detail. If I send this to balance here, and I put in my tag time. There's my oven process. 
I hover over it and you can see there I have the value of 12 going in here now. If I go back out here and I tell it I want to use the detail because you believe that's better values to use rather than the, what your uh, ERP system is using, it's going to use these numbers here, the 15 and the 6 for the prepare mold mixture, insert and oven respectively. And if I extend the balance here, click on the tag time, you can see I've got two items here. Here's the oven process with the 15 seconds and the, the insert and oven with the 6.6 .6 seconds. So remember, you can use the column over here, use detail. If there's an X in it, it will use the detail below rather than the oven processed grouping time of 12 here. So that could be very useful too if you're looking to overwrite what uh, the values from your ERP system is using. So these Excel templates are designed to be easy to use and to allow you to load your data very quickly to get started using the models and scheduling in Timer Pro. One final thing to note is also on the Excel templates, there's a second sheet called the schedule. So this is where you can put in a manual schedule if you want to test the information you're sending over. Uh, the format here is exactly the same as the format that we would use coming from your ERP system. So if you go back to the main sheet and you click on send to balance, it puts it right in and we define the tag time and then we can just click on the schedule. And this is using the schedule from that second sheet in the manual Excel sheet.